Okay, I'm putting this little video together, I wanted to demonstrate how to program the two-tone paging on your Anytone D868 or 878. Um, if you don't know what two-tone paging is, if you uh, if you're a volunteer firefighter or um, in emergency service, um, if you have a, a, an alpha pager. What happens is, uh, think of a two-tone as a PL tone, and before the transmission, they start giving audio on their transmission, they send out this two-tone, uh, and it's two frequencies, and if your radio or your pager has those tones programmed into it, the audio will pass through to your pager or, or radio. Uh, if you guys are scanner enthusiasts, this is the sound you would normally hear before the dispatcher starts talking. That's what a tone sounds like. And then the dispatcher would give audio out. And the purpose of it is that anybody with those two tones programmed into their radio or scanner would then hear that audio. It's so, uh, not everybody hears the audio, just the people intended. Again, think of it like a, like a PL tone on a frequency. So here is my Anytone code plug. And the first thing you want to do is go down to analog and two-tone setting. Now, when you go to two-tone setting, what you need to know is that uh, it's got two sides, an encode, which is frequencies you want to transmit, which really play no part uh, in this demonstration it's really the decode that we're going to use decode is receiving so here you can see I set up about eight different two tones first tone second tone <clears throat> excuse me now these tones I'm not pulling them out of the air these tones are specific for uh, the different counties or different towns uh, around me so this here, Ryan, the first one, Ryan Township, where, where I live. Uh, the first tone frequency is 617.4. The second tone frequency is 651.9. And that tone I just played for you, that's what these two tones sound like. But, um, so what happens is, we're interested in this tone 5, what I call test. Now, tone 5 is... 1217.8 and 1217.8 so when it hears the, those two tones back to back and the reason I picked those two to test because this frequency 1217.8 it actually comes from the number one key on the DTMF keyboard so if you were to key your radio up and hold the number one key down this tone will actually go out so the goal here is to test, I'm going to key up a radio and press 1, 1, and that should wake up my Anytone and start receiving the audio. Again, these tones you can find on like Radio Reference or if you do a, a, a Yahoo search uh, for your county, you, you'll find your tones. But you need to know what your tones are. So again, we're concerned with 1217.8, uh, decode tone 5 okay so how you set that up on uh, a channel is I'm gonna go here to channel 275 which is my test channel and the frequency I'm using is 672.7125 which is actually FRS radio frequency 7 and if you notice I call this uh, channel name fire FRS 7 and I added an 11 because those are the two codes or the two DTMF tones that have to be transmitted in order for me to hear again this is just a testing channel so you put your receive and transmit frequency in uh, I have transmit prohibited on this uh, only because on my regular fire channels that I'm receiving I have transmit prohibited so I can't transmit on those channels so channel type is analog transmit power again we're, we're receiving we're not really transmitting on this radio 
uh, but I'm just showing you how I have it set up. Bandwidth 25k, uh, nothing really out of the ordinary up here. Down here in analog is where you want to uh, make sure you have these settings. So CTCSS decode is off. My encode is also off. The squelch mode for this channel, instead of being uh, like a normal carrier, it's optional signaling. Optional signal. And then underneath it, it says, okay, what optional signal do you want to use? So here, you can have off, DTMF, two-tone, or five-tone. And for this uh, tutorial, we're going to be using two-tone. Now, here, two-tone ID, this is for transmitting purposes. Again, it doesn't matter what you put here, because we're not transmitting the tones. Where you are concerned about receiving the, co the tones, the decode, is over here to the bottom right. Two-tone decode. Now, when I hit the drop-down, here are my eight different um, tones that I set up. I wish they would show you uh, the names you set up, because it'll be much easier just seeing the names that you call them instead of just the numbers. But it is what it is, and our test tone that we were working with was test tone 5. So now what's going to happen is this radio will sit on this frequency when I'm on this channel. And the only time it's going to break the squelch is when the two-tone number 5 comes in. Again, which is the number 1 key pressed twice. Now that was a lot of information, but I think when you see my demonstration on the actual radio, it'll clear some things up for you. So, All right, so let's give our programming a test. So here we have the Anytone sitting on the channel that we programmed. Um, and here we have another radio uh, that's on the same frequency as the channel we programmed. Now when I key this radio up, you'll see the Anytone start receiving, the green light will come on, but there'll be no audio coming over because it's not hearing the correct two-tone first. So here we go, I'll key this up. One, two, three, four, five. No audio coming out in any tone. But if I key this radio up and send the correct tones to it, which I programmed in as being the one key twice, this radio will alert. It'll start receiving the audio. And then at the end of the transmission, it'll give you another alert. So let's try that. There's the alert. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Audio is coming out of the radio. I'm going to unkey the radio now. And there's your alert. If I should key this radio up again, the any tone receives, but again, no audio is getting passed. No audio is getting passed. Until we send that tone again. There's the tone, the audio coming through. Audio one, two, three, four, five. All right, I hope that uh, helps you set up your uh, Anytone two-tone decoding.